What's going on guys? We are uh, in the bilge of a 54 Riviera today. Uh, this is an Australian made boat. Wanted to give you an example of uh, how to clean the air conditioner strainer on this boat. This boat has five units, or four units rather. And they get clogged up pretty much, uh, you know, in the summertime where this boat sits, the marina is extremely muddy. And this air conditioner strainer right here gets clogged up really fast. We have to acid wash this boat at least once a year. Probably should be done every six months, but once a year we definitely have to acid flush it and get all the mud and all the junk out of the lines. But this time of year, July, you have to do this on a regular basis. Uh, clean this air conditioner strainer. We keep the boat at 78, 80 degrees uh, just to keep the uh, humidity out of the boat uh, when it's this hot. So the uh, one of these strainers this is a different, this is kind of a unique kind of strainer. Um, you find these on some boats, mostly uh, mostly more of the boats abroad, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the Genos, the Benetos, uh, Australian boats, stuff like this. You don't really find the strainer too much on American made boats, but, uh, but it is pretty common, fairly common. This is more common right here. You know, the good old Graco strainer and it does have Graco strainers for the main engines uh, on this boat and these are Volvo uh, D11 950s good motors with pod drives uh, but we're gonna we're gonna clean this AC strainer out let me just walk you through the basics on how to do it so first thing you do with any AC system is you got to shut your seacock off so this seacock uh, for the inlet is right here You just push that 90 degrees, okay? The inlet is off. Then this boat, you have to know how your boat's set up, but this boat is a underwater discharge on pretty much everything on this boat, generator, air conditioners, all the deck drains, the discharges below the water line. And this is the AC discharge right here. So we have to turn this one off as well. So if I don't turn this one off, then water will come through the discharge because it's under the water line and it'll start flooding back in the strainer. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, undo these wing nuts really fast. First you got the outer wing nut housing, then you have you have a clear and a rubber gasket for this type, this setup. You gotta remember how it all puts back together. So this filter just comes out and look at that. It's not too bad. Uh, we cleaned this probably, I don't know, it was uh, cleaned maybe five days ago with some descaler put through it. So not too bad. Um, it's due for an acid flush anyway. We're gonna get that done here soon. But uh, you see those two tabs right there? These two tabs simply drop into place, like so. And uh, then we can put it back together. Now, if that was dirty, really dirty, you take it to the dock, you get you a wire brush or a bristle brush and uh, hose it out real good and clean all those grains uh, in that strainer. You wanna, you wanna get it as clean as possible. You don't want any algae on there, all that good stuff. So we'll come back with the gasket. And you know, these are kind of tricky. You have to make sure everything's centered. So you can't just slap it on there. You gotta make sure everything's centered. Everything's laying in its track and won't move around. Put this ring back on. Put your wing nuts back on. Make sure they're snugged up. Okay, everything's good. We can turn the discharge back on. Turn the intake back on. Just like so. Check for leaks. Nothing's dripping, nothing's draining. Everything's good. And then we can go back upstairs and turn our air conditioner back on. Um, 
Now, like I said, you know, in the summertime, it depends on the marina you're in, muddy water. This needs to be done once a week if you're going to let your AC units run all the time. In the wintertime, it's not so bad. Water temp's cooler. You can probably get away with every two weeks, sometimes even a month. Um, you know, you just don't have all that growth coming in here. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you clean an AC strainer on a, a boat such as this one. Hope that helps.